Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Welcome to class number one, where I'm going to begin by going over the tools up in the upper toolbar. So we'll start over on the left hand side. This one just says new. So when you click on the one that says new, it's going to open up a new page for you, a blank page, just like that. And you'll notice it's right here. It's the one on top and it comes in as an untitled number and it goes in sequential order when you start your computer or your program back up again. So I'm actually on number 15 for today. Uh, if I was to save this, then rather than it saying untitled 15, it would have a name because see, these are three other pages, design pages that I have open. So I'm going to get rid of this one by clicking it to close it. All right, now the next button over is open. It looks like a file folder, just open it. And then you're able to see all kind of things that you might have downloaded or have on your computer. I can actually see all of these files because I have a program called Thumbnailer on my computer that I installed that I purchased and installed from Embrilliance. You can look there, use my link down below to go look at it. If you like it, you know, purchase it through my link. If, if you would, I'd appreciate it. But anyway, once you go to open, you can come to anything that you see. I'm going to open this rose. All right, once it opens, it comes in with a hoop showing up. And on the right hand side, you can see under the objects panel, there's an object. There's a plus sign beside it, which means I can open it or expand it. And now I can see that there are two parts that make up two steps that make up this rose design. And furthermore, I can look down here and I can see the two colors that make them up. I've got a deep green color and a red. Okay. Um, the next thing that I can do if I'd like to is I can print this off, but we'll talk more about that later. Or I could simply save it by clicking save here. Again, more about that later. But the next thing that I can do, if I select this and I come up here to the two pieces of paper, it's like a copy of the other paper, click on copy and then click on paste. Now it doesn't really look like anything much has happened, but it truly has because if you look over here in the objects panel, you can now see that there are two objects here in this panel. And if you want to see, we can drag one of these over off of the top, off of the bottom one. And you can see that there are certainly are two things. So that's the copy and paste button. And if I wanted a third one, I could just come up here to the paste button again, because the rose is still on the clipboard. So I can paste and now I have a third one just like that. Okay, if I don't want all of those, I can hit click on one and say delete on my keyboard. Or what I could have done is come to the next button and it's the undo button, the button that I like to use a lot, and I could just undo. So what it undid first was my deleting of that rose. Then it's going to undo that we made a third rose. Then look here in the objects panel, we have two roses. If I undo one more time, well, still have two roses because that just moved this one on top of the first one. Hit undo one more time and all we're left is with is our original object. And this, on the other hand, is the redo button. If I click on that, it will redo what I just undid. So see, redo, redo, redo. All right, so I'm just going to click on these now and I'll hit delete on my keyboard highlight one and I know it's highlighted when there's these boxes around it. In one of the programs I've used in the past, they used to call these little lines here, marching ants. <laughs> so delete. Okay, let's see what's next. Next is 3D. Let's zoom in by using this magnifier tool. And right now this is in 3D because it sort of looks like stitches if you can see that carefully and you'll be able to tell in a minute when I turn 3D off. So I've got to select this again because if I don't, so, well, I guess I had it still selected. Uh, when I turn 3D off and on, you can see what happens. 
This looks more like three-dimensional stitches, and this looks like the little lines that make up the stitches. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to come over here to this compass rose now and say hoop, H for hoop. That's going to center everything right in the middle in my hoop again. All right. The next thing, it's not going to show up much on this rose, but I'll show you on another file in a bit. This is the density map. And the reason why you might like to use this is if you're buying a file from someone that you're not sure of, of how well they digitize something, you can click on the density map. And depending on if a bunch of red shows up in your design, that could be an indication to you that there might be some trouble areas there and you better do a stitch out, a practice stitch out first, and don't do it on your good project until you find out if it really does stitch out properly. So that's the density map. The next one, as we've already used, is the magnifier tool. Click on that, and anything that you want to magnify, say I want to magnify this spot right here, you can just draw a box around that, and boom, it zooms right into it, and I can see that little line. If I want to go back to where I was, I can hit this and the hoop. All right, let's see. The next thing I can do is this little measure tool here. It looks like a ruler. Okay, if you'll notice, I have the grids open. Here's a zero up here and a one and a two. There's an inch between each one of these. That's what those are measuring. If I start right here and go over here with my measuring tool and stop, stop right there, that should measure an inch. Now, if you look way down in the lower left-hand corner, you can see that it is one inch. So keep your eyeballs down there in the lower left-hand corner and see when I move this thing, you see what numbers I'm talking about, right? So if I drag this thing from the zero to the two, if I'm measuring something, you can see that it says it's two inches length. There's also a thing after that that says zero degrees, and we're not going to get into that too much right now, but that has to do with the slant or the inclination of the line. So notice if I go up, the slant's now at eight degrees. If I go down, it's minus eight or nine. But that's just how you can measure something. So if you wanted to measure, you know, across this rose, you could go like that and get a rough idea of the length of it, two and seven eighths inches. Okay, the last button I'm going to show you today in this toolbar is the um, one right here, this is the Stitch Simulator, one of my most favorite buttons to play with. Okay, so if I click on the Stitch Simulator, you'll notice this is that this band of color shows up here. You can actually see there are just two colors because as you know, there are only two colors in our object. If you come over here again to the object panel and expand it, we can see that there's a deep green color if I click on it, and there's a red color if I click on it. Okay, so to do this now, to watch this stitch out with the stitch simulator, all you do is come over here and click on this button that says play the design, and it starts playing it. And you can change the speed of the design depending on if you really want to scroll in and see something slowly, or you can use the slider and speed it way up. Okay, the other thing you can do is this. Let's go back to the beginning, and you can go ahead and do one click at a time if you want to. Make it do one stitch at a time. Maybe you're doing something and you need to get right to the very end of something. So you can do one stitch at a time just by going click, 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 click. Okay. Um, and there's more things that you can do with this, but this is all I'm showing you for right now. You can also just use this bar and scroll across. So it can show you exactly how this is going to stitch out for you when you're ready. So that's it for today. Uh, I'll have the next installment for you next week and or maybe before then depends on the timing. Um, I hope you like this. Please share it with everybody that you know who's trying to learn how to use uh, Embrilliance Essentials because I'm going to go through quite a few things for you. 
So if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and do use my links down below if you're in the market to buy something because it helps to fund Patty Ann's place. See you again soon. Bye-bye.